Hey guys, happy Sunday. How's it going? You know why I know it's Sunday? Because, sorry, I got up, well, I actually didn't get up early. I got up late and I missed church, which is how I know it's Sunday. Ugh, got up late, so um, I just did my cardio, which is the topic of, let's predict. Do you think that I, this vlog will actually be less than five minutes? I think I'm up for the challenge. Maybe I might change my mind and start talking about something else. But the reason that I wanted to come out here and shoot this very simple topic blog, Mr. Flo, sorry, I got a few emails from you guys saying I hadn't flexed, and wow, I haven't been tanning in a week. It's showing. Anyway, I just finished um, some cardio. I did kickboxing, one of my old favorites. Hold on. Just one second. Just a second. Hold on. I just have this funny taste in my mouth after I work out. I need my water. My water's in the other room. Okay. Anyway, just finished doing one of my favorite old school Tybo videos. Slight sweat. Just a little. Um, and it made me think of back in the day, like the, the Tybo, <laughs> this is going to show you. When I first started getting interested in fitness was when the first Tybos came out. So it was Billy Blank's Tybo, um, and it was on VHS. I think some of you might not even know what that is. That's in a VCR. We had tapes that were the, as thick as a book. Probably looked about this size, which this is the book I'm reading. <laughs> anyway, um, I just, I saw an infomercial. Yes, I saw an infomercial back when I actually watched live television. And I ordered Billy Blank's, and the thing is, this is not a comment on Tybo or Billy Blanks or anything in specific, but it's the beginning of the new year. We're, we're heading, heading into that, you know, new, new year's resolution. Everybody's going to join a gym. Everybody's going to say they're going to lose weight. And the people, a lot of the people that have never done this before are looking for a quick fix. And they're the kind of people that are going to pay attention to an infomercial or something in a magazine or something online that says you can have six pack abs in six weeks. I don't have to do anything. I eat whatever I want. And I do this, I put this ab thing on, Lisa Rinna, hello. I put this machine on my abs at night and it just burns fat off. Really, people? If it was that easy, we'd all be walking around naked because our bodies would be so perfect that we'd eat galore. I'd be eating sushi with rice every day. Yeah, that's the thing I get excited about the most. Sushi with rice. Less than, well, what's... No, sweets. Anyway, I'm getting off track, as usual. Here's the thing. You'll start to see, and, and they're, they're throughout the year, but for those of you that are new, it's really important that you realize, okay, I've been wearing polar ever since, and I don't know if you can see this. Can you see my burn? Um, I'm at 300 calories, okay? I worked out for probably, including my warm-up, about 40 minutes, 300 calories. If you pay attention to most of the, whether it's, you know, it can be insanity, beach body workouts, it can be um, the firm, it can be, I, I mean, it could be anything. It can be stuff at the gym, it can be gym equipment that they're trying to sell you. And they'll go, yeah, here's this new elliptical, here's this new whatever it is, a combination of a spin bike. Or did you know that a spinning class can burn up to 700 calories? Or our kickboxing class has burned up to 1,000 calories in an hour. And, and people will look at the number on the machines if they go to the gym and they'll press in their time and they'll put, oh, I want to be in fat burning mode. And so they'll put that in and probably don't even put their height, their weight, their age or anything about themselves. That machine, here's the thing, until you started using this, and I'm not saying this, you guys that have been watching my videos know, I started using a polar heart rate monitor. I can probably even figure out the year. It was uh, two, maybe 2008, so four years, four to five years. It might have been 2007. It was the beginning of the year when I first started training with Jay. So this is well before I founded my company. This is well before I met anybody at Polar. I had my trainer tell me that he wasn't going to train with me unless I used heart, a heart rate monitor. And I saw this cool gadget that everyone was using, and I was like, what is that? And what we had to do, or what he insisted that I do, now this is at Lifetime, which I think is pretty cool, um, is a MAP test. It's a metabolic assessment profile. And you get on a treadmill, and, and they take your heart rate monitor, they put your height, your weight, 
your current weight, your age, all of those factors into it. And then they put this really, I should have brought it in here because I have a second one I'm going to do. They put like a gas mask on you and you get on the treadmill and they'll have you start off at a, at a certain level and then you go you know, higher and higher and higher until you're running. And they're measuring if, I hope I'm saying this correctly because remember I'm not the expert. They measure your CO2 capacity. I do remember CO2, which I believe is carbon dioxide. Again, I'm not the one to, to talk about this. We'll have Joe Dowdell do a video on this because Joe knows, okay? <laughs> Joe knows all. Um, but anyway, you get on a treadmill. It measures your particular, the way that you deal with oxygen. I'll just put it that way. I am not saying this correctly, you guys. What I'm saying is we all get fit in our own way. We all burn fat differently. We all lose weight differently. You cannot buy yourself a new video and just because it says that, you know, spinning, don't, don't see things in a magazine that says spinning is great. It burns up to 700 calories an hour. And then you go and you take a half an hour class and you go, oh, I must have burned 350 calories. It's not how it works. There, there can be a, a room full of people spinning and 20 different people will all burn 20 different, will have 20 different caloric burns. And some of them are burning, you know, fat versus carbon. I, I know I'm not saying the right thing, okay? I'm not a trainer, not a doctor. I'm, I'm just somebody who likes to work out. And I'm surrounded by people that know what they're talking about. They could say this much more eloquently than I could. And of course, I'm past six minutes. My point is, don't be fooled. If you buy yourself a treadmill or an elliptical for at home, which is a great investment, okay? Don't think, you know, I'll tell you one thing. If you're gonna buy a piece of equipment like that at home, if you get a treadmill or an elliptical or whatever, trust me, if you pay attention to all of my Fitfluential people um, on Twitter, that's where you can find different ways to use this so it'll never become a clothes hanger for you. That's a soft pin for my people. Now, back to what I'm saying. This is not necessarily about me saying you should use a polar. I, I firmly believe in it. Obviously, I've been using it for four years. And much less so now for my caloric burn, I like to watch, like when I'm working out, okay, right now, see my heart rate? I'm at 103. When I put this on, my resting heart rate, it was, I think, 67. Um, the interesting thing that you'll start to see when you do heart rate training is you'll start to train to see how fast you can get your, your heart rate up there, like to your, your highest capacity where you're almost dying, right? Um, and then when you stop, how quickly you recover. Um, again, I'll let someone like Joe speak on what this all means. But, but one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing intervals on the treadmill is I'll get my heart rate all the way up there. So if I'm doing an incline on the treadmill and I have it up to 15, then I put it all the way down to flat and for a minute I'm walking and I'll sit here and I'll watch to see how fast I come down from my heart rate being up at like 160 back down to like 130, 120 where I'm you know calm and then you go back up. So you get to see how you progress and the printouts, shoot, I should have brought that too. Um, when I did that map test at Lifetime Fitness, they print out this whole assessment that shows you, you know, this is, this is where your fat burning zone is. But they're just showing you for your height, for your weight, for the way that you, I hope I'm saying this right, metabolize, again, not the expert here, just the person that's giving you the message. Um, and, then, and then you measure it every quarter to see how you're progressing because you'll make progress. That means that, um, Again, I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, you're, you're burning fat more effectively um, as you get fitter. So again, if you're just starting the new year and you, you have a, a, who doesn't have a fat loss goal? Who doesn't want to get uh, in better shape, okay? My goal is to lose 20 pounds. That's my first, that's my first level of success and then it'll be really a lot more about muscle building. Um, I might get to 20 pounds and not need to lose anymore. I might get to 20 pounds and say, hey, you know, I really want to be buffalicious. But anyway, if you're just getting started, do not, don't get yourself, because I'm saving you from getting upset and depressed, don't buy an elliptical and think that because it says on the machine or in the commercial, hey, you know, people will burn on this elliptical because, or, you know, because, because our elliptical has you doing your arms like this and it's rounded instead of, you know, forward like this, you're going to burn 10 times more calories. Most people burn 1,200 calories in half an hour. Don't assume that's you. Do not go into a spin class or a kickboxing class. If you're at a gym and they tell you this class has been known to burn 750 calories, don't believe that. I'm sorry, okay? And I'm pretty sure that anybody, like the experts around me, 
Valerie Waters, Joe Dowdell, Mike Roussel, Todd Baumgartner, anybody that I can, I'm just referencing people off the top of my head. Look them up, ask them. I'm pretty sure they're all going to tell you the same thing. Whatever machine tells you, when it doesn't know your height, your age, your weight, anything about you internally, it can't tell you. It can give you an estimate. That estimate is the same thing for you if you're five foot two and 110 pounds as it is for a guy who's, you know, six one and 290. You can't rely on that. And I'm, the reason that I'm being so emphatic about it, you'll get depressed. You're gonna get depressed if you go into the new year and you say, well, I bought this elliptical and here's what's gonna happen. I, it's just making me think of this. You're gonna buy an elliptical or you're gonna buy something off of an infomercial that says it, it burns 1,000 calories an hour, 1,500 calories an hour. So you'll do that for a week and then you're gonna eat according to what you think you're burning, right? So you're gonna, you're gonna say, well, I did you know, Tybo or whatever it was. This is not to, this is not in any way to cut down on the efficacy of any program. My point is we all burn and uh, burn calories differently. That's my only point because I love Tygo. I'm still doing it. When, does that, when did I buy that? That was VCR days. I'm still doing it like 12 years later. So what does that tell you? I freaking love Tybo, okay? There's things that I love that I've had the, the DVDs forever. So back to the point. If you are, are new to working out and you get yourself this elliptical or you buy yourself a beach body program and it says, hey, these people drop 12 dress sizes in one week or, you know, these people are, you know, 20 minutes and you burn 800 calories and then you're silly enough or misinformed enough to think, okay, well, I'm going to do this 20 minutes every day and then you're, you're counting your calories. Maybe you're using something like Fit Day or Lose It or whatever, some kind of an app or Livestrong. And you're using this app and you're like, well, I burned 800 calories. So then you're eating 2,500 calories or maybe you're eating 3,000 calories, but you're like, well, I figured out my, my weight loss thing and I'm burning 800 calories. So really, I should eat more. You're not burning 800 calories, more than likely. More than likely, and I'll tell you this. Didn't I say this for the vlog was going to be five minutes and I'm already at 12? Here's the thing. See, I just burned 40 calories talking to you guys. Wow, that's pretty kind of funny. It tells you how how much energy I put into my, my talk. Ah! Here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, when I first bought, um, yes, okay. Uh, when I first bought, I bought an elliptical, which is funny because I really don't like ellipticals, but I was married at the time and my husband liked the elliptical. That shows you how things went in that house. Um, whatever he liked, we got. So, um, anyway, we had an elliptical, which I bought, of course. Um, I'm sorry, am I making comments about things that I really shouldn't be? Um, we bought the elliptical, right? Or I bought the elliptical. And on the machine, and it had those, um, you know, you grab onto the handles, and it has the, the sensor, right? And that machine would tell me that I was burning in like 40, I think this was right about the time, right when I met Jay, because I didn't have my heart rate monitor yet. And the machine was telling me that when I got on the machine for about 30 minutes that I was burning 800 calories. And I was like, I'm going to have an extra granola bar. Because at that time, I used to pack in his lunch these, and I actually saw them at Costco yesterday, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I was buying all my healthy food, and I wanted, I can't lie, Michael, I can't lie, I wanted to buy these. They're, um, what granola bar is it? They're salty sweet. They're like peanut butter. I don't know what the sweet is, but they're granola bars that are the hard crunchy. Well, I guess they're kind of crunchy, but it's in a golden container. Um, I can't even think of the brand, but they're like peanut butter and caramel or something. It's salty sweet. Oh my God. I'm just not even going to tell you those things. Anyway, I used to buy them at, at Sam's or yeah, I think it's Sam's when I was married and I would pack that in my husband's lunch because, yes, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning every day and made him coffee and packed his lunch and started his car for him. And he still cheated on me. <laughs> He's special. Anyway, he would have two of those a day. And there were times, I'm just going to admit to you guys, I'm just throwing it out there, okay? Um, there were times when I, was, <laughs> when I was married and I would get up in the middle of the night and they were so damn good that I'd be like, and I'd come out in the kitchen and I'd be like, I'd be opening one up and um, yeah I would eat one or six in the middle of the night <laughs> and then he'd be like are we out of these things again am I eating that much I'm like yes you are but and in my head I'm like I'll just go on the elliptical for another 20 minutes and burn it off 
It's not how it works, people. So, all that to say, get yourself a polar. I, I mean, here's the thing. The point of this video was not to try to sell you on anything. The, I was just trying to make a point so that you don't get discouraged. Because, um, you know, so get yourself, if, you, if you're buying an elliptical or a treadmill, buy it. That's not, my point is not to tell you not to buy it. If you saw a Beachbody program or something on Gaiam or you bought a workout a thing or, or, or you bought yourself a, can't talk today, membership um, to a gym and you're going to start taking spinning class or, or hot yoga. I see this a lot too for like hot yoga. They'll go, oh, you know, people are writing up hot yoga in all of the magazines and they're like, oh yeah, you know, people have totally lost like 2,000 calories in an hour. And then somebody who's new is going to go into that class and think, well, I'm just going to go to hot yoga five times a week and that's going to burn 10,000 calories, so I'm fine. I can go out for cocktails and then they probably don't even know that like one margarita has 800 calories, okay? You've got to be aware of everything and realize that, you know, 300 calories, what I just burned this morning in, in, a, in a, number one, it's not this simple, 300 calories I want you to understand that's like a small serving of french fries okay so if you really want to start thinking about how much food has an impact on what you're doing versus working out you know working out is great but food can add that up really quickly and and too many people will rely too heavily on their caloric burn and then they think oh i can eat this and they're not counting all the things you eat you've got to count i measure out what I put in this cup. I measure out my tablespoon. I measure out, you know, everything I'm doing. Um, and if you're frustrated, okay, I'm getting off track as usual, 16 minutes. I said I was going to do five. Point is, especially if you're starting, but even if you're not starting and you just want to take things up a notch, and this is your year that you say, you know, I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to reach my goals. For me, this is the year. This is the year these delts are going to be like, kapow, okay? If you really, really want to reach your goals, I, I, I want to say don't be stupid, but I don't want to be insulting, but seriously, do not believe what you see on the cover of a DVD as far as caloric burn. Ignore any, that's what you can do. The best thing you can do for yourself, pick out what you're going to do for a workout. Pick out what you're going to do as far as buying a gym membership. Get yourself a, a heart rate monitor. Get yourself a Polar. You could get yourself another brand. Yes, let me disclose, okay? First of all, I've been using Polars since I founded my company. So this was, like I said, 2000, was it 2006, 2007, whatever, um, for quite a while. So I have been a, a, an advocate for Polar for quite a while, ever since I met Jay at Lifetime Fitness. And, and that's what I like, so it works for me, okay? Yes, I, I have to disclose this to you. They, they're a client of my company, okay? So they do work with my company. but. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I'd be, I've been saying this since well before I even founded my company. So I firmly believe that this is a good tool. Do you need it? No. Is it a great thing to have? Absolutely. Especially if you're really serious about tracking what you do. But if you don't have one, if you're not getting it for another whatever, okay, and you've bought yourself a treadmill, or you've bought yourself a, an elliptical, or you, you're, you've bought yourself a gym membership and you're going to start spinning, or hot yoga, or whatever, or you've bought yourself some DVDs from, from Beachbody, or any, any kind of a thing, just, here's what I'm going to tell you. Ignore what it says on the package. Ignore what it says on the, the elliptical, or the treadmill, or, or any, the Stairmaster, anything at the gym. Do not go by the caloric burn and use that to calculate how much you can eat. You need to ignore that number and just pay attention. I guess what I would say is until you have like a heart rate monitor, just pay attention to how much you sweat, how much you're working out. And, and, and that's what you go by. And then get yourself on an eating plan. You know, um, you've got to figure out a good way. But as far as, I, I just don't want people to get frustrated. I look like I'm praying right now because too many people do that. I find too many people that I see them at the office, I see them here or there, and they're like, oh well, yeah, I just went to spinning class, and that spinning class burns 800 calories. I'm like, how do you know that? And they go, well, it says so on the door. Okay, yeah, and then they're the ones out at happy hour having four drinks that just totaled about 1,500 calories, which is double what they think they're, they're burning in the gym, and those are the people that eight weeks later are gonna be bitching and moaning that they haven't lost weight. That's why, that's why. Number one, you're eating and drinking more than you think. And number two, you're over-calculating what you're doing in the gym, okay? Those are the two simple things. Wow.
it's okay. Those are the two simple things that if you don't have the results you're do that you want, it's either you're eating something, you're eating in, in the wrong way, which is probably too much, or you're working out, not enough. Those are the two things, period. And the great thing is, they're both in your control, okay? I figured out what I'm not doing and I'm changing it, but you have to pay attention. And the one thing I see too many people making the mistake in is just believing the hype. Ignore the hype, okay? Yes, I would recommend getting yourself a bowler, but if you, if you don't have one yet, all I'm saying is step one, ignore anything that tells you how much calories it's going to burn in an hour or a half an hour. Ignore it. Do yourself a favor, okay? That's my gift to you on a Sunday. And now I need to go listen to some Joel Osteen because I'm a sinner and I need to straighten myself out. Have a good rest of the day. There you go, Mr. Flow. Ooh, I'm doing shoulders later on today. Talk to you guys later.